Hello everyone and welcome back to Divinity. So I did spend some time buying some things from that goblin. We have a new rapier, I think that's a rapier, for uh, Raid Wolf. We have a new spear for Tokshin, hopefully I can get him into the fight with that. I do have a new bow for Luna and I have a new axe, yes, a new axe for Kara. I think that's all I got, I don't think I bought any armor. Yeah, I did not buy any armor. Alright, so let's start making our way through here. Where do I want to go? What's that? The Trial Dungeon. Okay, I guess we want to go that way. And then maybe explore the rest of this area. Alright, so let's go north. Spider Egg. Okay. Okay. We are now engaged against a spider egg. Alright, and we are constantly slowed by this. Oh, uh, yeah, that does kind of suck. I can't even cast haste. Ouch. <laughs> Four action points, moving 2.2 meters. Oh boy. Awesome. Slow sucks. So we didn't even do any damage to this thing, did we? I'm just kind of looking at that. Oh, we just missed. Oh, because it's 12%. Duh. Alright. Well, crap. Um... I guess we move up some. Then I'll try range shot on it. 23% chance. Jeez. Okay. Ah! Okay. Now it's level 14 sand spiraling. I was told to do the White Witch stuff first. Maybe this is not the White Witch stuff. Because these things are higher than the goblins are. I have a 0% chance to hit this thing. Holy crap, man. Okay. Um, I can't even heal. Four percent chance. I have to ricochet just to even hit it. All right. Well, let's move up, and maybe I can stun it. Okay, so now we can at least guarantee hit it. If I could get behind it, that'd be best. That's not directly behind. Alright, let's haste Luna. And we'll move up. Summon Max. Give us a flank. Not that it matters now that he's stunned, but when he comes out of stun, it will matter a little bit. Alright, so now we have 100% chance to hit. I think I'm just gonna go... We'll go with one powered shot and then one normal. Ooh. Let's hope for a little bit more. But that's okay, we can finish up with our rogue here. Oh, come on, really? Dude, this backstab stuff is... What is... Can the spider not be backstabbed? Is that maybe what's going on? I know this weapon can backstab. Yeah. I, it looks like I'm right behind this thing. Ugh. Screw it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, so we have one action point left. I guess I'll move like that. There it is. Of course. Of course. That's just way... Like, if they're going to have that spot behind the enemy be that exact, they just need to like highlight when you select a backstabbing character or a character with a backstab talent. They just need to highlight the exact space you need to be in behind every single enemy on the battlefield because that's just... That's a little bit ridiculous. A little bit. Uh, I could heal Luna, I suppose, but I kind of want to save up my points. So I think I'll do that. Oh, okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm at the right spot. Oh, I just totally healed the wrong person. I figured to get to the White Witch, I would have to go through the Immaculates there. Maybe I'm don't going about this all wrong. Because a level 14 spider does not bode well for what's coming next. I have not been down here. Maybe she's down here. Because they did say she was in the forest of Lucala, and now I'm not in a forest any longer. Mm, they don't really have a wave portal that's close. Maybe there's a wave portal up here that I can at least activate. Let's quick save. Mm, not seeing a wave portal. Something isn't right here. It could be an ambush. Uh, you know what? I think you're right. More spider eggs for level 14 spiders. Not good for me. You know what? I, I don't feel good. I, I don't feel good about this. I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm doing the wrong thing. It's very possible somebody has already told me this a couple episodes ago. Because the way I play, I'm usually like at least three or four episodes ahead of whatever's being aired, so... Uh, uh, I feel bad about this. It doesn't feel good. It does not feel good. I'm gonna go back. I think I need to go... there? That was not the one that I wanted. Ah, but we'll just, we'll deal with it. Alright, so I want to check out... Actually, no, this would be much faster. Which one is this one? Lucala Sassil Road? Okay, cool. Maybe she's over here. I just don't... I don't think I'm supposed to be fighting any kind of level 14 things right now. All right, that was uh, that was a little odd. Did you see that? A shadow just sprang to life. Strange magic indeed. Perhaps ah, nearing the way yep, which okay. is there. I was totally going the wrong way. <laughs> there, there, you kindly oh, old soul. The we'll get you out of this pinch. No, nothing but a squirrel. Dear, oh dear, my nerves are hmm. all shot. I'll go down there later. Alright, so it's a good thing I decided to get out of that area. Definitely was not the way to the White Witch. I, I, For whatever reason, I'm not even sure why anymore. I just thought infiltrating the Immaculates was the way to get to the White Witch. I was clearly wrong. That's supposed to probably be one of the last things to do in this area. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Immaculate Summoner. Ah, Source Hunter. Or the Source Hunter. It is my greatest pleasure to announce to you that we Immaculates have captured the feared White Witch and quarantined her house of horrors. Oh, so she's gonna be an owl? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me try to run back through what I know here. The White Witch was the person who killed Jake. 
Right. Um, and she... She is part of the conduit? She... Am I getting my story mixed up here? Is the Immaculates the conduit, or is the White Witch the conduit? Can't remember. The Immaculates serve that queen, or that goddess, who is all about the blood. The White Witch... Crap, I can't remember. Oh well, let's just keep going through. I'm just sitting here in my chair with my eyes closed, trying to think back through previous episodes. Uh, yes, the greatest known threat to Rivalon has been neutralized, thanks in no small part to you, Source Hunter. Your activities in Sysiel drove the snake to her den, and that's where we Immaculate Spring our trap. She is definitely one who murdered Jake, but then Jake was not a good guy. He served the Conduit. Was she part of the Conduit? That part I don't remember. I mean, I'm sure it's probably in my journal. I just have to check that. Okay, so I need to question the white... Well, who are you? I am a proud Immaculate, sworn to use my summoner's experience, expertise in service of the goddess... Goddess is one way in the greater good. Alright, so I need to question her. Ah, uh, the High Counselor of Sysiel. We mourned his tragic death. Yes, every Immaculate honors the memory of that noble man. Still, Source Hunter, I am sworn on my life to guard this quarantine. I serve a higher authority than yours and will not waver in my duty. Well, perhaps... With your help, we can put his murder to rest. Oh, he outcharms me! So, you want to do paper. Then we want to do scissor. Then we want to do paper. Oh! The AI actually changed its method. Nah, I'm not so sure. Okay, so it's just gonna cycle through rock and scissor then? Ha <laughs> So are all of these just on a set list of things to do? Is that what's going on here? And this guy was set to do rock, scissor, rock, scissor? What the heck? Alright, I would be remiss not to do my part to close that terrible chapter of the Counselor's legacy. Go on then, Source Hunter. But please tell no Immaculate I let you pass, or it will be my life. Okay. And we have a way portal. Excellent. So this is the dome that I saw earlier. It's around her house. Wait a minute. What's that yellow? Is that just the mushroom? No, that's something I can talk to. Why, hello there. What in the heck? I sung of chaos and eternal night, taught by the heavenly muse to venture down the darkest descent and up to reascend. <clears throat> Excuse us, we had something lodged in our windpipe. What? Now I've seen everything. Oh, somehow we doubt that very much. Have you ever seen a dragon's pajamas? A rat in a Sunday hat? No, no, Source Hunter. We do believe this life hasn't finished surprising you. Not in the least. I have not seen those two things. What do you know about this barrier? We suppose we could say a thing or two about that, but how dreadfully boring it would be. Here's an idea to enliven things. We have a fresh batch of three brain teasers. Oh, gosh. Hot off our thinking caps at the ready. Perhaps if you can answer each and all correctly, Source Hunter, we may, might find the spirit to tell you what we know about this barrier you're so interested in. Then again, it is in all fun and games. We hardly offer second chances to the beriddled. If you give us a single false answer, we'll clam up like morning glories at midnight. So, do you have what it takes? Oh boy. I feel like I need to just quick save and try that, but then that kind of feels like save scumming, and I just... I don't like doing that. Ah, sure, why not? Let's do it. This is better news than the Orc Queen misplacing her thumb screw, but enough delays. Let us begin. Your first riddle begins thus. I'm not a very good with riddles. The ravenous brute tore down my chartreous gown, ripped out my silken hair by its roots. 
wrenched my children from me and fed them fed me to the hogs who am I you're an ear of corn bravo bravo bravissimo an ear of corn indeed can you imagine a sheep in a chartreuse gown a pumpkin a pumpkin with silken hair the fantasies of a fool now on to our second riddle this one's sure to stump you I cannot lie I cannot lay but only lie who am I I cannot lie. I cannot lay, but only lie. I'm pretty sure the obvious answer is, is going to be a stone. Like, that has to be it, right? But only lie, but I cannot lay. Because he can't, like, lay down, but it does lie on the ground? Okay, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. I already knew what the answer was because it was obvious by the choices they gave me, but I had to figure it out. I still wanted to figure the riddle out, like, but why is it that way? Because a rock cannot lay, but it does lie. So, yeah, okay. Uh, you've done it again. I'm thrilled. I'm amazed. I'm liable to to present the very last riddle. This one will blow you out of your stockings, so hold on tight. I have a neck as long as twice the width of a toad's tail, as many eyes as half the number of seasons per annum. I'm known to cause hurricanes in the Far East merely by taking off two minutes too late. Who am I? I have a neck as long as twice the width of a toad's tail. Neck as long as twice the width of a toad's tail. As many eyes as half the number of seasons per annum. Um, is annum a year? I don't. I'm not familiar with that word. So that, that if that is true, then that's two eyes. I'm known to cause hurricanes in the far east. Merely by taking off two minutes too late. I'm assuming this is a butterfly. Because its neck would be its whole body, which... Oh, no. Well, hmm. D uh... The thing is, like, I have a neck as long as twice the width of a toast tail. Toast tail isn't that... Wide. Wait, 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 wait. A toad doesn't have a tail. It's a toad, right? They don't have tails. Right? I think I'm probably thinking too hard about this. So you definitely have two eyes, and I'm known to cause hurricanes in the far east wind by taking off two minutes too late. But how does a man cause hurricanes? And how does a butterfly cause hurricanes? The thing is... Hmm. I won't stump me. The part about the hurricanes. And the neck part doesn't make sense. A toad is just like a frog, right? And they don't have tails. Does that mean that if it doesn't have a tail, then that means this thing has no neck? Two eyes. I'm, assu I'm assuming it's a butterfly. Okay. Oh, very good, very good. The last person who tried to solve that riddle puffed away in a small impish huff, mumbling about space-time. But not... <laughs> All right, the imp. But not you. You stuck it out until the very end, you crafty little so-and-so. So the butterfly was something I was thinking of earlier, but then I did a thing where I was thinking too hard and I was tricking myself up because I was thinking about a toad, and I was like, well, wait a minute, a toad doesn't have a tail. Then I'm questioning myself, wait, does a toad have a tail? I'm like, no, it doesn't have a fucking tail. So it has no neck. And I was like, does it have a tail? And I just, I just overly thought that one out. All right, so, um, continue. So what would you like to know? What do you know about the barrier? It's quite a lovely sort of barrier, isn't it? Who doesn't enjoy a gentle, breezy motion against one's backside after all? We're growing quite accustomed to it, indeed. 
It's simply beyond our comprehension why that curious wizard fellow would be so concerned with such a gentle, undulating beauty as that. He seemed desperate to figure out how to vanish it. That's not to say the thing's only a boon, though. We know those cult-crazed immaculates erected it to keep outsiders out and insiders in, and we haven't seen the White Witch since it went up after all. We thought you'd never ask. What would you like to know? Who is she? Some call her the Guardian of Lucala, and by our estimation, she's more than earned the title. She's a healing witch, concerned mostly with the safety of the living souls, animals, and plants alike of this forest. So, she probably killed Jake because maybe she knew that Jake was evil? Or maybe he just walked in at the wrong time? And she's been here since ever before, even before our great 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 grandmother, Francisca Toastal the 44th, can recall. We've long lodged Jason to her little cabin, and she used to greet us with a how do you do every morning. We do hope she's not entangled in anything unsavory. What a shame it'd be if someone with a penchant for heavy-handed hoe-wielding moved in. Oh, yeah, I guess that would suck for them. Somewhere in her cabin, as far as we know. The last we saw her, she and her apprentice, Almina, were rushing inside, whispering to one another. They seemed rather anxious. Perhaps they knew that those Immaculates were on their trail. A group of them followed some time after and erected the barrier around the cabin. We haven't seen the White Witch or Almina since. Do you know anything about the murder? Murder? That doesn't sound like her at all, no. Much more interested in patching things up than tearing them down, that one. And then again, it's hard to tell on what stalk a person truly stands until you've seen them at the end of their rope. Isn't that so? We suppose... If someone held a sword to our caps, we'd fight him with every last spore we had. Bye, then. They didn't actually tell me how to take the barrier down. Back. Yeah. Bye, then. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. Why, hello there. Oh, boy. What do you know about the barrier? Oh, they just say the same thing? Okay. Bye, then. Okay. Well, I don't see anything of what, uh, how to get through there. What? When did the mushroom tell me that? Did I just totally blank out and forget that I read a part about a wizard having an extra stash? Like, when did that happen? Did I really just blank out? What the f- Alright, so the wizard Maradino might have a stash barrier remover spot somewhere around the forest. Who is Maradino? I don't know, that name doesn't sound familiar, but I've probably met him before. Maradino. Oh, jeez. Maybe. Maybe Maradino is someone down here. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think I'll talk oh, with these people tomorrow. So to no, no Marandino. Oh. Maybe not someone back in town. Yeah, I'll go back in town and look for a Marandino. They said stashed in the forest, making me think that I have to just kind of walk around and look for it. Well, I'll figure something out. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Just trying to see where I haven't been yet. Yeah. Uh take care. <laughs> Address the wound I wounded.